We're here at LFA 62 for the weigh-ins with one half of the main event, Vince Cochero. How are you feeling? Feeling great, man. Feeling great. Excited to go in there, get this weight in, you know, drink some water, and uh, get ready to fight tomorrow. How'd you feel when you got the opportunity um, at this uh, Bantamweight title shot against Miles John? Oh, man, I was excited. You know, Miles is a super tough dude. He's from out here. This is his hometown, so I know you guys support him, but, uh, you know, he's a tough guy. He's the number one guy in the, in the 35 division, so I'm always trying to fight the best of the best, prove that I'm ready to be in the UFC right now. So I was really looking forward to the fight, you know, after I get this fight with Casey. You know, we'll see what happens. We'll uh, fight Miles later on this year. Yeah, that fight fell through, so now you are facing uh, Kenny Casey, yep. which uh, he's the uh, flyweight champion, the interim. I mean, he's, he's looking at a chance to make history. Um, how do you feel about that in, uh, you know, with the opponent change? Yeah, well, I mean, props to him for stepping up on short notice, but I'm not letting anyone make history on my watch, man. Um, you know, it's not much of a change. You know, I've been preparing for a tough guy. Case Kenny's a tough guy as well. You know, he's fought in front of Dana White a few times in the Contender Series. I know the UFC likes him. He's a UFC level talent as well. So I'm excited to go out there and battle another guy, show that I'm ready for it. You're six and zero. Um, how how fast uh, do you want to get to the UFC, or or you're, that's not a you get there when you get there. Man, right away. I've been taking fights with guys who have way more experience. You know, guys from bigger gyms, bigger names, all this stuff. And even though I only have six fights, you know, you can look at the guys with the, rec with the records that I fought. They're tough dudes. They're very good fighters. And, um, you know, the only reason I've been doing that, I'm not fighting any chumps, is because I want to show Dana, I want to show Sean that I'm ready right now. I'm not ready to just enter the UFC. I'm ready to get in there and start winning fights. Uh, what are your goals for this year, 2019? Yeah, man, I have it written down on, uh, on my board, my whiteboard at home. It was to be in the UFC before 2020, to get into the UFC this year, and also be the UFC champ by 2022. I'm going to make both of those happen, and I had to write a new one in earlier this year. I was become the LFA Bantamweight champ. And that's going to be tomorrow, March 22nd. Hey, uh, what gym are you training out of out there in California? Yeah, so I'm uh, at a bunch of great gyms. You know, I'm blessed to have a lot of great teams, a lot of great coaches putting the, their efforts into me. So Adam Lerner at A4 Boxing has helped my career tremendously. we got Ian Harris, who I've been with forever. He's at Fight Science MMA. And of course, I'm over there at Black House as well. So I'm getting my jiu-jitsu from King Kevin Casey and also my wrestling uh, working with uh, Coach Kenny Gon Ken Johnson over there too. So it's... You know, it's a great, uh, great force of guys around me helping me out. It's some exciting times for fans. Uh, any shout outs you want to give out to uh, family, friends, back home, or sponsors? Absolutely, man. Shout out to, to, like I said, my teams, my teammates. I wouldn't be here without them. Everyone watching Hawaii, I love you guys. I always fight to represent you guys. And of course, my sponsors, man. Boiling Crab Hawaii. We've got Born Tough, Luta Gear, Fight Tips, Punch Gunk. You know, the list goes on. All time arts. I'm ready to represent you guys, represent you guys well. There you go, Vince Conchero will be in the main event tomorrow night at LFA 62 at the Bomb Factory in Dallas, Texas. Y'all watch this fight. Appreciate the time. Best of luck to you. Thank you.